In the criminal justice system, street racing offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York City, the dedicated detectives who investigate these felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Street Racing Prevention Unit. These are their stories. Do something. I want you to try going to any search engine. It doesn't matter if it's Yahoo. It doesn't matter if it's Google. In fact, I'll go to Google because it really doesn't matter. And what I want you to do is I want you to type up fastest quarter mile stock car. And let's see what you get. Well, by fourth mile or 400 meter line, 11 seconds or less, uh, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon 2018, 9.65 at 140 miles per hour, 225.3 kilometers per hour. And then after that, after that, the $3 million plus Bugatti Veyron Supersport, and then the McLaren P1, and even after that, this fucking 918 Spider, which I always assumed was much, much faster than it is. Apparently, the people who actually test these cars in professional environments, you know, like Guinness Book of World Records, apparently, they know more than me. So, basically, here you go. And they have the zero to 60 times, I think, and then they have the fastest quarter mile times. And the Dodge Demon is at the top of it. So when they came out and they said, yes, this is the uh, fastest car in the world and it's banned for being too damn fast, they got 9.65 at 140. And then you've got the McLaren 720S down here, 9.9. .9 at 148. Now, the fastest I'd ever seen a McLaren run where I could be pretty much, you know, assured that it was close to stock was when I saw a Demonology racing, uh, Street Speed 717. And, um, I think the best that I saw the McLaren do, and it was two McLarens at that show, the best that I saw that thing do in this video that I actually made, the best that I saw that thing do was like in the 10 second range, where in the first race that the Soul Snatcher, that's this red one right here with the Gracie Barra thing on the side, the fastest I saw that go was like a 9.85. So here's the thing. Um, basically, like some people ask me, they're like, yo, how is it that your channel has so many subscribers and views and you don't even race and you don't mod or nothing? But let me explain something. There's a reason why I don't race and there's a reason why I don't mod. It's because you're up against arguing with children on the internet. And I don't like bothering to argue with children. And when I say children, I'm talking about these kids who are sitting home in front of their computers typing troll posts. And they've got a fucking Acura or some used Honda Accord or some used Nissan Maxima or some used Toyota Camry with a fart can on it and uh, negative camber wheels with shits are bent inside like that and the bottom of the car scraping the ground. I'm not arguing with any of these people. I'm not arguing with them. So basically, it was like when you go to these drag strips, it's real then because now there's no more argument. It's like either you're faster than the last thing or you're not. So very simply, it's like I went to this drag race and I watched these cars run. And I was like really impressed because I didn't even really think that the demon could do what it did. It was amazing watching this thing do what it did. In fact, let's listen to you. something about the McLaren. Let me explain something about the McLaren real quick. There's a reason why you see street speed driving in curves like this and you see him driving like that. And the reason why is because the McLaren is not a car designed for the drag strip. It's not designed to spin its tires. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to warm his tires up. Unfortunately, he really can't. So the thing about it is this car is just in an element it's not designed for. And it's up against a car that is basically the most powerful drag racing car on the planet. Especially according back here. You see what they told him? They said fucking 9.65 at 140. So basically this thing 
should have won in my opinion because it was supposed to be faster but the problem is the big boys and you know the professionals they tell you up front they said this thing is fast but it ain't that fast so you know that's just what it was smoke it snatch that soul and drag it straight to the altar of fca that's what i've come for this is the moment that we've all been waiting for Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ah. Yeah, you see, you kind of don't want to line up against cars like that. Any car that's like that, you don't want to do it. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to zoom out for this shit. Let's go take him down. Smash that soul. So basically, the fastest run time that I saw Demonology run was 9.85. But after that, he was like consistently running like in the tens, but he was still running faster than Street Speed's McLaren, right? So that basically, I mean, this is, this is old. This is past. So we've already seen this. But what was interesting to me was that Demonology took Tunnel Chase's car and he was able to uh, change the settings on the launch control and everything. And he was able, that's Tunnel Chase's car right there. Back when Tunnel Chaser actually had a demon, he has like a McLaren now. Yeah, see, he was basically running very, very low tens. He was running like 10.01 versus a 10.35 right there. And the problem is, as these cars get hotter, they start to run less efficiently because you got to really cool these cars down to make them really, really run, you know? Come on. And it was cold out there that day. It just wasn't cold enough for those engines because those engines burn hot. The majority of these foreign import supercars, these things aren't doing better in that quarter than 10.5 typically, you know? You try that shit against a Tesla, you're gonna lose. Uh oh, that demon jump! Whoa, soul snatch! You got gapped. You got gap, McLaren. How about that gap? 1007, 1007, and 1043. So basically, that was that Maple Grove race. And now, Drag Times and Demonology met up, and Demonology apparently got someone's car because he didn't bring the Soul Snatcher with him. And uh, when he ran in this other guy's car, he was having problems with the guy's launch control. He was having problems with the guy's suspension. So obviously, it was occurring to me that obviously, just the common sections were going to be loaded with people, you know, making attacks uh, and whatnot. You know, you've got some supporters of the McLaren, you got these negative attacks. And um, basically, you know how I love reading comments, right? So basically, I'm here just to read the comments about this. So here's one right here. It says, this one's from Street Speed. It says, awesome job, brother. Funny how in his stock, with quotes, demon, he ran 9.8s against me all day, which let me stop right there. That's not actually true. He was actually running mostly 10s. The only time I saw him run that 9.8 was like the very first run. But anyway, when I was running 10s and with a stock demon, with a different stock demon, he never went faster than 10.1. Interesting indeed. No, you know what's really interesting to me? What's really interesting to me is that Drag Times was running 9.7 and this, that, and the other when no other McLaren in the world is running that fast. So it occurred to me, because I was reading some of the comments, somebody said that, you know, he should have... Um, that he had a tune that everybody else should have. So he's running 9.82 at 144. 
Now, I've heard some accusations of sandbagging. I've heard some accusations of, you know, the car being tuned and this, that, and other. But this is one reason why, me personally, I don't see any reason to race. Because the problem is, if you win, you're going to have people accusing you of being modded. And if you lose, you're going to have people um, saying that the other person's modded. And then you're going to have people say, oh, yeah, well, your car is bullshit and it's not as fast. Meanwhile, the fucking world record is telling you exactly what's what. And this shit is all verified. I mean, they verify these things on, you know, real tracks. So it's just like my argument that I have, because I have one video that has been gone a long, long time. And it was called Veyron versus Venom, right? And this was a troll video I made because, you know, these these fucking fanboys with their Forza 6 and Forza 5 video games. These guys make me sick. And I made this video to troll people um, based on the fact that at the time, the Bugatti Veyron Supersport was the fastest street legal production car. Now, this was the Bugatti Veyron Supersport. And... Yes, it's higher. It has a capable top speed of what is it like 267 or whatever. It doesn't really matter because you know, I'm I'm never going to fucking be racing anything even remotely like that that fast. But the point is, this thing was a street legal production car and I have to argue with these little children who have nothing that this is the world's most fastest street legal production car. And these people are trying to argue that based on some fucking video game that they played that the uh Hennessy Venom GT was faster. And that thing wasn't a production car, number one, because the problem was it was basically a backyard tuner car. It was a tuner car, basically. So, you know, I, I really don't see any point in doing most of these races. Like, I tell you, it was interesting that he won the first one because you would expect that something that costs, like, three times as much is supposed to take home every trophy. But shit wasn't so that day. But what's interesting to me is that Drag Times is pulling 9.82s and this, that, and the other. And I know he did change his tires because he said he had, like, Toyo Proxis or some shit. But meanwhile, the best that they were able to do was only a little bit higher. It was 9.9. .9. So I'm guessing this thing is definitely capable of a 9.8. But what's interesting to me is FCA has already proven that the Demon was capable of 9.65. Now, when you're using launch control and you're running perfect DA and everything... Oh, yeah, it's very, very possible for you to pull uh, times like that and everything, especially if you're the factory and you're able to do some shit like, you know, pulling out the seats and everything, and you've got the best of the best equipment and the best of the best technological minds on hand. Oh, yeah, I absolutely believe you could do it. But the bottom line is, this is what the record says. There's no arguing with this because these are numbers. This is called an objective reality. There's no arguing with this. The Bugatti Veyron Supersport in that quarter mile is not as fast as the Dodge Demon. Now, I know they also have a table where they show the world's fastest cars, but in the 0 to 60, it says the 918 Spider is actually the fastest 0 to 60. And then after that, you get the ludicrous model Tesla. And then after that, the Aerial Atom, I don't count because that shit is like a go kart. And then after that, you get the SRT Demon. After that, the Huracan Performante, which I'm actually not surprised it's that slow because it's a V10. The Lamborghini SV is right after that, which I also find interesting. But then again, I've seen the Tesla Model S kicking the Lamborghini Aventador's ass, which I'm not surprised about because it's a gas engine versus electric engine. Electric engine, all you got to do is put a better fuse on it and run more electricity through it. And, you know, you could have that thing be a fucking missile. And then after that, you got the Chiron and the Veyron, which are both heavy cars. And they have to be heavy because if you're doing 200 fucking 60 miles an hour, you don't want that car to fly off the track. So anyway, let me get back to these comments because I, I don't have to make a case because the thing about it is I'm not arguing with anybody. It says, man, what's up, man? Demonology was driving Tunnel Chase's demon. He beat street speeds and someone else's demon. Mopar or no car? Which, you know, that's the reality because that's exactly what happened. Now, let's go to Drag Time's channel and look at all these the hate comments. I just love them. Just love them. So, anyway, uh, Street Speed 717. His demon is fully gutted with different wheels and tires. He still calls it stocks. <laughs> I think that's how you're supposed to pronounce the happy faces. Okay. You got cut, boy. The Herminator snatched your soul. Let me give that guy one star up because he used the scissors and that shit is funny. Okay. 
You got that right. Stang Mode even busted his ass, and then he sells the ZR1. All Stang Mode had was an E85 and tune. 470 horsepower to the wheels versus a ZR1, which put down over 662 wheels. What a joke. Dude can't drive worse shit. Okay, so let's go to this guy's channel and see what kind of car he has. He has a fucking Camaro. So right there, he's invalid. He only has got like 15 subscribers, so I'm not even paying attention to that ass. Okay, next. Okay. Yep, Demonology gained a couple of tenths over the factory demons with those brake wheel tire changes and still can't match the ETs of a stock 720. Really? He can't match the stock S20, the 720S time? Really, that's really interesting because, you know, according to the actual professionals, um... Uh, he kind of does. Okay, so anyway, let's go back. Uh, come on, dude, get some class. Yeah, I don't know who he's even talking to, honestly. Street Speed 717, the man snatch your soul, baby. And he got eight, now he's got nine. Let's see. Well, so much for all that humble shit. I told Demonology, this guy's a fruitcake crying after the fact and the humble shit. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Mark. Yeah, he was legit lying. Okay. Let's see. When I raced you Street Speed 717, my car was cold, which puts it into the nines. Once hot, it'll run tens. When I ran you in Tunnel Chase's car, it was hot. The first run I raced with Brooks, the demon had a malfunction off the line, so I had to stop. Well, you know, based on what I saw, it was like he was having problems with the infotainment system. He was having problems with the suspension and everything. But, you know, this is why I don't even bother with this bullshit. It's like it's all like a dick measuring contest, and I just choose not to even play it. And I'm damn sure not arguing with these fucking kids who've got no car and are at home when their mom is basement and have nothing. I'm not arguing with them at all, especially these people with 15 subscribers who got Camaros. I'm not arguing. So anyway, I thought Street Speed was cool. Now I see he has shown his true colors. Okay, if you see this, I just want you to go back and I want you to correct this to a capital N if you don't mind. Because, you know, it just bothers me a little bit. Okay. They call this comment whining, but a 30-minute video dedicated to excuses and constant comments saying the car was broke by demonology is perfectly fine. The demon fan base in a nutshell. Okay. Let me see if I can take away one of his fucking... He's got 15 shit. Okay, well, I don't know. Maybe that'll get him later. I don't know. Brooks is running good times. Kind of fishy. Team 720, fucking excuses. Street speed. Demon was running good times. Kind of fishy. Team 720, yeah, it is kind of fishy. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. El Diablo, his 720S was a lot more stock than Demonology's Demon. And good on you for unsubbing. You show him, you keyboard warrior. <laughs> okay. El Diablo, quit being a bitch. Nobody gives a damn if you sub to them or not. Change your damn diaper. Okay, let me give him a plus. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Well, that's exactly how fast Brooks used to be before he put the Toyo R88R prop tires on. So, you know, if people want to attack Demonology's Demon for having a 15-inch conversion, then who's going to do the attack on the 720 that Brooks had for having the Toyo R88R tires? That's just my question, you know. SRT Mush Buddy has the same setup and ran 8.9, so he will be in in the same he will be it the same league. What the fuck is it with these people? Nobody checks their comments and just does the basic spell check. God damn. It's like it's right in front of you, and you have access to a dictionary and you've got access to an encyclopedia right here on the internet. You don't even bother checking. Okay, let's see anyone. Whatever you'll say, I got Street Speed 17 back. I got Street Speed 717 back because you're trying to make him be the bad person, which he's not. You'll clearly see this video. You'll see what happens a stock 720S versus a tuned 720S. There are so many subject, verb, and comma disagreements in this fucking sentence. I just have to read that again. 
I have to read that again. Whatever you'll say, I got Street Speed 717 back because you'll try to make him be the bad person, which he's not. You'll clearly... Uh, I, I fucking pushed the back button. Stick. I have like a little back button on this mouse and I accidentally pushed that shit. There's a back button, there's the front button. And there's all the liquor and shit I've been drinking before I make these videos. So, um, yeah. Um, num, 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 num. Where was I? Damn it. Yeah, that horrible ass comment that this fucking guy, he, all he had to do was just use the spell check, the bastard. Where, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's here somewhere. Let's see. Oh, here he is again. Nelson Johnson. This is this uh, person. And and he doesn't seem to understand that Tune is supposed to have a D at the end. I don't understand that. Let, let's see what this guy's channel looks like. Let's see. Okay, another motherfucking Camaro. God damn. And it's white this time. And I don't even know if he really has it. I don't know if this is his or if it's just a picture. And he has one subscriber. Wow. Don't you just love it when the people with, like, barely any subscribers are the ones talking the most shit? You know what I'm going to do, Nelson? I'm going to give you one more subscribe. I'm going to push subscribe. And you know what I'm also going to do? I'm going to hit that bell right there. So this way, if you ever make a fucking video that's worth a damn, I'll be able to see it. Okay. Whatever you'll say, I got Street Speed 717 back because you're trying to make him be the bad person, which he's not. You clearly didn't see this video. You'll see what happens to Stock 720S versus a Tune 720S. Okay. After reading this uh, comment again, I'm afraid that I can't subscribe to somebody who's got such shitty fucking spelling and editing techniques. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to unring the bell and then I'm going to take my fucking subscription back, you moron. <laughs> it's not happening. Sorry. Goodbye, Nelson. Okay. Clickbait 717 over here pretending to be a good driver. Please do me a favor, Lucas Arthurs. Go back to this, and I need you to change that AR to an RE. Please, please, because it bothers me. It really bothers me. Please. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to give you a plus one just to so I'm not angry. Okay, there you go. That is correct. All demons came stock with one seat. The passenger seat and the back seats are options that you have to check the box on and pay extra for. That's a fact. You see, here's the thing. If we're going to argue about whether a car is stock or not based on how many fucking seats are in the car, I mean, I can't do it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. I'm not going to be arguing with these children about whether or not my car is still stock or not based on the fucking tires and based on the seats. As far as I'm concerned, it only is not stock if you've changed, like, the fuel system or the performance of the powertrain or something like that. I, I just don't feel like arguing with these children with their negative camber fucking Honda Accords and Civics. I just don't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Now, here's a, here's a comment that has a potential to be smart. Who gives a shit who is stock? What matters is who wins. That's it. You lose, you just lose. That's simple. Just because someone does some shit to their car doesn't mean it's less of a car. If it's faster, it's faster. The not stock bullshit people are hollering is some straight up pansy shit. I don't know how I feel about that one. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. Street speed 717. True, he's probably modded. Yeah, okay. Define mod, please, because I'm pretty sure the uh, NHRA defines it differently than you do. They aren't stripped from the factory, you fake news spreading inbred. They remove one seat to do its sub-10 run, dumbass. Okay, well, let me definitely give him a thumbs up. Off to the gym. Okay. Demonology, a malfunction, haha. You sound like a damn fool. The only thing you're quick at running is your mouth. Enjoy that lose. Loss, you stupid fuck. Wait, hold on, hold on. The word, wait, let me, let me type it in caps. The, the word is loss. You, now I have to come up with a clever insult. The word is loss, you turkey. Yeah, you're a turkey. It's too, it's too close to Thanksgiving to be a turkey. In fact, let me go right back. So that I can definitely at um, no okay I'm not gonna I can't go back I don't I don't even know if this I think he might be screening the comments because it didn't just pop up 
Because these kids are getting pretty ugly on here. These little fucking children in their mom's basement playing with their, their PlayStation 4s. Okay. 720S only needed a tune and tires to run a 9.4. Lol, sad. I don't even know how to feel about that. Okay. Demon costs 85k new. You should really put a dollar sign right there. Pulley and E85 was 5k. Watch SRT Mush so for 90k. He is running 9.31 with 865 wheel horsepower. Now, with just adding a hundred shot of NAS, he makes 1028 wheel horsepower and his buddy runs 8.98. So let me know when a 720S is there. Oh my god! There! Oh my god. God, oh, the word is there, you turkey. God damn these people. Oh, my God. Oh, we got to calm down after that one. Jesus Christ. I could build a not bad Honda Civic. Okay, you're automatically getting a thumbs down. Okay, no, and I'm just going to type nope. I'm not even going to read the rest of your comment. I'm just not, because as soon as he said Honda Civic, it was over. I'm sorry. Can't trust you anymore. I agree that you can build a car to bust a demon's ass, but at the end of the day, anything breaks. That demon is under warranty. Thank you. Finally, some intelligence. Thank you. I don't even have to read the rest of your comment. In fact, no, let me read it. It says that Civic ain't. I also agree that it's sad that the 9.65 has not been duplicated and without a tire swap can only run a 10.2. Well, actually, with the tire swap to a 15, he's running 9.85. So, you know. Okay. Some salty ass supposed grown men on here pointing fingers and crying. How about run what you have and take your L like a man no matter who you are. Nobody is going to win every race and coming on here crying about it or making excuses isn't going to change anything. I don't like street speed just for shit like this and I'm not a demon fan so I'm on nobody's side. I just think it's sad to see so many comments with finger pointing. Demonology took an L to a faster car so he can't say much. And Street Speed, you've been gapped more than a porn star in cars. You had no business losing like Stang Mode. So you definitely shouldn't be talking shit. Both of you need to stop it. Anyone that follows either of these guys knows their cars. Well, you didn't use a period, but let me give you a thumbs up for that brilliant, beautiful, well thought out and intelligent, mature response. So just do me a favor and just go back and just make some minor punctuation corrections. And that can be a perfect comment. Absolutely perfect. JVR Bomber Fan 1. Thank you. Okay. When did I argue about your triple, your mom triple gay? This is, if you reply, your mom triple gay. That's his fucking name. When did I argue about price? All I said is it's not bad for 300000 Yeah, you know what else is not bad for 300000 A house. As far as you being your own mechanic, that's great. You don't pay for labor, but you still pay for parts. Under warranty means no labor or parts to be paid for. That's exactly right. Thank you. Parts for a Honda, they're chump change, lol. Okay. You got that right. Chump change for a chump car. Let me give him a thumbs up, too. You are totally missing the point and most definitely have no clue. Yep. Wait a minute. Eichler. I don't know what he said. What is, what is Eichler? What did Eichler say? Demon close no, 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 no. Yeah, he's probably missing the point. Definitely. Okay. The word is loss, you turkey. Oh, these are my comments. Yeah, these morons. The word is loss, you turkey. In fact, let me go back and just put an exclamation point, like three exclamation points on that. Yeah. Yeah. I want I want I want him to understand that I fucking mean it. Yep. Three more. The word is there. Epic video. Yep. I've never seen Brooks so excited. Yeah, I'd be excited too if I was handing this guy a broken demon so he could try to race me and he can't possibly win. I'd be excited too. That's like that's like me trying to race somebody in a Hellcat when they only got like a Honda. A Honda Civic. And all you people who are really excited for the Toyota Supra, I'm gonna be so happy when that thing comes out and breaks your expectations. Because I already know it's gonna it's gonna be shit. 
It's going to be shit, just like the rest of the cars. Just like the BRZ and that FRS. I remember when that thing came out and everybody was trying to hype it and talk about how great it was. That shit was like 200 horsepower with a fucking shit boxer engine, which was really hard as hell to upgrade. And, you know, after a while, they were like, wait a minute, this fucking thing is slow. And they, they couldn't race anybody. I just love it. Oh, man, all these angry comments. Let's see who's got the top comments. Let's see who's got the top comments here. No passenger. No passenger seat. And still customer dodges are not touching their claim 9.65. Come on. How is there not a class action? We've got a legal professional here who can't spell passenger. Well, that last race was bitching. I was really rooting for the demon, but that 720 is just playing fast. Okay. This is Brooks with the fucking apostrophe, if you don't mind. Christmas gift to his viewers. Okay. I don't even care who won. This was just fun. Demonology was pretty hilarious. You two have good chemistry. I do want to see your 720S go against a demon on his home turf, too. Mm hmm. I definitely would like to see that. Yeah, the demon lost again, but race demonol. Oh, we can't use that excuse anymore. That's a shame. Striker VA. Who is this? Let's see. He's got 33 subscribers, and it looks like a picture of a viper. Okay. Okay. Well, his channel is pretty much dead. No, thank you. Okay. So the demon grows early and still loses. What a joke. Well, it doesn't matter how early you go. If you don't run in the uh, allotted time, you're going to basically, it doesn't matter. When they match up the times, uh, whatever. Some people don't understand how drag tracks work. The fact that he thinks a demon is a better car than a ZR1, it is a better car than a ZR1. I'm going to give you a thumbs down, you loser. Okay, anyway, I'm not even reading the rest of your comment. It's not worth it. My favorite demonology excuse, actual comment by him. He had to put that shit in parenthesis because he wants us to understand he's serious. Yeah, I red lit second race, but if you subtract the amount I read list, then the demon would have been ahead. This is not only one of the saddest excuses known to man. It also shows the guy doesn't understand basic math because he's wrong. Well, I guess he understands some math because you've got 33 fucking subs and he has like a lot more. Anyway. Glad that's settled. Still can't take anything away from the demon as it's still an amazing car and fast. This, in my opinion, this really wasn't a race. I mean, if you've got a car that's not working properly and you've demonstrated that the car is not working properly, I don't really consider that a fair race at all. In fact, I'm really disappointed that this wasn't that 720 versus the Soul Snatcher because then at that point, there's no excuses whatsoever. I already know uh, his uh, 720 is modded. And I also know that he's tuned the uh, computer in the car. And Demonology has the 15 So convert. basically, he has a tuned computer and he has those Toyo Proxes, which I know goddamn well does not come on that car. So that I, if you're going to consider Demonology's 15-inch conversion and his hoser tires, if you're going to consider that a mod, then I consider the 720 modded too. Which is why somebody back there said, you know what, it doesn't really matter what kind of tires you got and shit. It's just like if you're faster, you're faster, you know. But if the car is not working, I consider that a problem. So I really, me personally, I'm not counting this as a race. I'm pretty sure the rest of you who are Street Speed fans or McLaren fans in general, I'm pretty sure you'll count it as a um, full race. And I'm sure you don't care about any of the uh, problems that was being had by the demon that was being driven. But at the end of the day, the bottom line is right here. You see this shit? No matter all the shit that you talk about, the, and you already know I'm the Dodge product guy. I'm, I'm, I've am i done more for advertising than motherfuckers, and they haven't paid me a dime. I'll just let you know that. But the bottom line is this right here. All the shit that you're talking doesn't change these numbers right here, and it also doesn't change the rankings. Even that P1 ain't as fast as that demon is in that fourth mile. The P1 ain't. So if that right there, if that fucking thing that looks like a goddamn space rocket ship, if that thing isn't as fast as the demon and it costs way, 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 way more, then you ain't got 
nothing. You you just got nothing. It's like I'm not arguing with you. I'm not arguing. I'm treating you just like I did with that Veyron Super Sport versus Hennessy video. There's no point in arguing. But this is again. This is the reason why I don't even bother racing because this way I don't have to be up at night worrying about what some fucking useless fanboy in their mama's basement playing Forza Six is gonna say, or playing Gran Turismo and they think all that shit is real because it's not. It's a video game. I don't know if you realize this, but you're playing it through a monitor. Just because you have a racing chair as a computer gaming chair doesn't mean that you know anything about fucking racing cars. You don't. So, this is the bottom line right here. So, in fact, I think what I might do is I might use that as my screenshot. Because the thing about it is, regardless what you say... This is the objective reality that you cannot defeat. Snatch his soul, goddammit, snatch his soul! Look at that thing. Look at that demon. Look at that demon! Woo! Got that ass! Got him! Snatch that soul! Snatch his soul! 1013 versus 1025. Snatch his soul!